win today and we are one step closer to the Premier League. One step. We just gotta believe. I I believe. <laughs> hello, hello, and welcome back to another video in the To the Promised Land series with Rutherfield FC. My name is Riley, and today's video we have potentially a season winning match. We have picked up our form. AKA we have only we only did draw one match since the last one, I believe. We did lose against Saltine. Um but other than that, we've been winning. So combine that with Shoreham also not being consistent. We are ahead on points right now. With two matches left in the season. We currently sit at 87. And the reason why I wanted to show you this video is because bum, 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 peg them if we beat them we win pretty awesome we get promoted uh we did win the sussex rur charity cup final very exciting i know and we are in the peter bentley challenge cup final as well so we're just gonna jump into this pega match because i want to see if we can win the league if we can't, that's too bad. So big uh, uh, no, not no, no, but uh, disadvantage that we've had the last little while is Jack Daldy has been out for about a month or so, maybe. I, I guess I could check. Returning to full fitness imminently. Um. Okay. Well, he's coming back slowly, so he should be back before the Peter Bentley. So. In his stead, we've had Dylan Morgan. He has been um, playing, and he's he's done pretty good. He's done pretty good. Not too much to, com to complain about. But him and Brandon Tavener are up front with Collier and Francis on the wings. Morris and Colicott Stevens. Back four of Fisher, Williams, Flowers, Miller, and Pierce. A pretty typical starting 11 for us um that's the thing we have been fortunate with injuries which has been awesome uh so our starting 11 has mostly stayed intact which is huge for us pick up where you left off boys let's get this win go home and celebrate that we get promoted to level nine which i don't know what it'll be yet just because how this works is from level nine to level eight. Like there's so many of us that are going to go to regional. I'm not explaining it very well, mostly because my brain is it's the end of a week. But essentially only one of us is being promoted because there's so many other leagues like ours that are also looking for promotion. So. There's only so much you can funnel up to. Hence why pyramids like this, right? <laughs> funnel up. Anyways, they've had the first opportunity. Oh, it looks like we've actually had opportunities, but not good enough to get a highlight for. So that's something, I guess. We do need a win here, though. Phillips now coming up the right. Again, Pegum has another highlight. We have yet to have one of our own. But Francis takes the ball, and he goes to Taverner. Taverner to Morgan. Morgan goes back to Taverner. Nice little give and go there. Brandon Taverner shoots, and their keeper's able to save that. Taverner has a cannon for a leg. Man, he can just boot that ball, and he heads that well over the crossbar. Okie dokie. Looks like Shoreham is winning their match currently. So that is great for them. Morris. Goes to Taverner, but unsuccessful. Flowers. Morris, who's not offside. Thought he might be Collier. Oh, Collier had a chance there. But that was very fortunate. And now they are on the counterattack. Phillips holds up play, though, to slow it down. String fellow to edge. Man, these are quite the names on this on, on this Pegum side. Oh, there we go. Back with our highlight. Morris to Fisher. 
Fisher's looking across, goes back to Morris. Morris now crosses it and goes nowhere. And here they are. Oh, they had a little counterattack, but unsuccessful. Morris picks it up. Morgan now with the ball, and he shoots and scores his third goal of the season. Brennan's having her with the terrific assist. Bravo, boys, bravo. Yeah, nice little play there, Tavener. Nice head on. And Morgan, he's not missing. He is not missing. 19-year-old from League One originally. He didn't actually play in League One, but he was on a League One side. So that's that's something. We're starting to see young players, young players as in like the 1920 range, that were originally part of the academy for bigger clubs. So, yeah, that's something. We're moving up, moving up, up in the world. So it's very exciting for us. Harris and, ooh, what was he doing with that? That was going nowhere anytime soon. Pierce now with the ball. He boots it downfield, and Dylan Morgan is running for it. And does he score? Yes, he does. Wow. That was a beautiful run. That pass by Pierce was perfect. And Morgan is just able to collect that ball and score. Look at Pierce. Just boots it. He sees Morgan making a run. And honestly, the placement couldn't be any better. If the defender was a little bit quicker, sure, they might have actually uh, done something there. But man, Morgan has good enough pace to get that ball in to put in the back of the net. Great finishing from the 19-year-old from four screen. Okie dokie. 10 minutes out from uh, halftime, which is great. We're up 2-0. Morgan now heads it on. I think he was trying to go for Tavener maybe, but not able to do that there. Dolman now goes to the midfield. And Stringfellow. There we go. Hardin Phillips now. Phillips is going to score. Drew Phillips. 2-1. Pagan's able to get themselves on the board. Haradine Phillips. Yeah. I don't know where uh, Pierce was diving there. Why did he dive so high? But regardless, good goal for the Pagan side. Collier now with the ball. Collier takes it up the left wing, and he... I don't know what he's trying to do. Cross it, pass it, shoot it. Whatever it was, it was terrible. Terrible. And here they go. They have another chance. They do not want us to clinch the title for the league in this at the end of this match in their home field. Ooh, what was that? Pierce is luckily was watching that. And now we got Francis, the Taverner. Taverner now with the chance. And he's going to go back to Francis, who shoots and scores. He goes to the near post and beats the keeper. Dan Francis has 26 goals in the season. That is insane for a right winger. He's a good right winger at that, but still. Beauty. I don't know how he scored that. That keeper is terrible, apparently. Our XG is crazy high compared to theirs. I, yeah, I, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled with that, but dang. Morris now to Francis, Francis to Taverner, and Taverner shoots and scores his 42nd goal. I will probably put Jack Daldy on in the second half just to get him some uh, some minutes because we are up 4-1. It looks like the game is in hand. Obviously, it's not even halftime yet, but it's looking pretty good. Where is Pegum I mean, anyways? Oh, they're in the relegation zone, so... I didn't realize that beforehand. So we should win this quite comfortably, I would think. All right. Ethan Miller crosses to Taverner. Taverner unable to connect. Collier now. Morris to Fisher. Fisher shoots. Holy cow, Fisher. Ian Fisher with the snipe. Wow. Puts in the top left corner from outside the box. I don't even know what to say. It was, it was a nice shot, but man, that keeper is so bad. My goodness, I would not try to poach him. He is not good. 
Not good at all. Boys, I'm happy. You guys are playing awesome. You guys are all great. It's time for some Jack Daldy, though. I'm sorry, Brandon Tavener. Jack Daldy time. Let's do it. He needs, he needs some minutes. needs some match fitness. So why not give... Now he's complacent. The guy hasn't played in how long and... Ooh, I'm on the match for the first time. It's so fun. I'm complacent. That's exactly what he sounds like. And that's exactly how a complacent person talks. All right. Well, let's take off Caldecott Stevens. I don't like that he's on a yellow. Andre Alukonmi can come on. And Williams can come off. And Blackwell can come on. And that's all the subs. So let's finish this game strong, boys. They're on a attack now. What the heck? Herodine Phillips and Phil Man, Drew Phillips is a solid player. He's a solid, solid player. No doubt about that. The guy can finish a football. No. You know what I mean. <laughs> Herodine to Phillips and Phillips easily puts it past Pierce. All right, all right. I see you, uh, I see you, Drew Phillips. I'm not worried. Ten minutes left, and we are still up by three. That is great for us. I'm very happy with that. Alu Kami now. Goes to Collier. What kind of play act play was that? Alu Kami goes wide to Flowers. Flowers unable to get the shot off or the pass or whatever he was trying there. Flowers now again. And here they go with their own counter. Again, Drew Phillips is going for his hat trick, and he puts it wide of the post. Thank goodness. I really do not want to run up the score like that. But that is exactly what he's doing. Question. We didn't win the league because Shoreham won. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, it was a lie this whole time. But, like, regardless, like, our goal difference is, like, crazy. Like, we could lose this ne next match and, you know, still win the league, I'm pretty sure. But, regardless, we will continue our march towards the title. One last match. We'll play it on this in this video. So, let's do it. Finally, we are back with this last match of the season. And if we win, we're in. If we lose, well, there's a good chance that we are still in. So, not a bad situation to be in currently. So, the only change in our lineup today is Daldi is back in the starting 11. And Caldecott Stevens is suspended. So, Sam Salas is replacing him. I know. Very exciting. Horley Town. I'm not sure actually where they are located on the table, but... I think regardless, because of our uh, goal difference, we should be able to move on. So, yeah, we'll take a look here and see what they say. But, and, and it's another away match too, which is crazy. 91 points. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, where are they? Oh, excuse me, I need to see where they are. Orly Town, where are you? My eyes, they're down 14th. Okay. Not surprising. They're low. But they had a nice opportunity there. And good save from Pierce to push that out. Hey, I've never noticed this before. Is there... Oh, dang, it's gone. There's like a guy standing in like the window of that building watching the match. Like tickets to this match would have cost like nothing. Why would you just go? Oh, Sullivan. End of highlight. Pierce now with the ball. And I guess if Shoreham loses, we win no matter what. But still, I'd rather just win and be done. Perkins. Him right here. Is that a guy there? That looks like a guy standing there. Tavener goes, oh, he tries to go to Daldi, but good defensive play there. And I don't know what that was, but Pierce picks it up. A great ball from Pierce, and Jack Daldy is making a run, and he shoots, and it just goes wide of the post. He scored some, like 50-something goals at this point, so he has been on fire, to say the least. 
And you got to think, he's been out with injury for the last month, month and a half, two months. It's impressive. And here they go, Hordley Town with a, an, an attack. Lambert now with the run. And is he able to keep it in? Yes, he does. Oh, there we go, McDonald. Perkins. Easy. Easy for them. Technically, it's an own goal, but they are scoring that regardless, regardless of Flowers touching that or not. Like, who is this dude right here? Who is supposed to be covering? Who are you? Morris. Goodness. Can't just let him walk into the box like that. That's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fisher. Their Fisher, not our Fisher. Pierce clears the ball. I just want to see if there are other matches going on right now. Ah, uh, Shoreham is playing Saltine. They're tied. So, that's something. Collier picks up the ball now. Fisher. Fisher goes to Taverner. Taverner over to Salas. Salas to... Where's he going to go? Taverner again. Daldi. Daldi gets taken down. No penalty, though. Miller now with the ball. Miller is going to go to Salas, to Francis. Francis is going to take it. He's got men in front. He can cross. He's going to take it himself, and it goes wide. Terrible shot from Francis. Pass that ball. Square that ball. Cross it. I don't care. Just do something. We haven't had a shot on target yet. Poor match from us so far. Poor first half. Pierce, another ball collection there. How will he distribute it? He goes deep, trying to find somebody. And at least Ian Fisher is able to pick up the ball. Oh, he is dispossessed by McDonald. McDonald had a chance to score last time, but ended up passing it, which led to a goal. Marks to McHale, to Miller, to Francis. Francis now with the ball. He's got room to go. He is running up the middle. He definitely cut inside. Oh, and a nice play. Oh. Beautiful pass to Taverner, but Taverner shoots and hits the post. Uh, still not a shot on target. RxG is higher, and they've had double the amount of, or well, four times the amount of shots on target than us, but we have the higher XG, so yeah, that's something. We're still losing, though, so it doesn't really matter. And here we go. Let's score before half. Please, let's score before half. Demand more, because what's the... Shoreham still hasn't uh, scored. Robbins clears the ball away. Annoying. Williams tries to go wide to Francis, but unable to collect that ball. And now here we go, Perkins with the attack. Perkins shoots and scores, and they are up 2-0. Uh, yikes. Last match in the season, and we are losing. <sighs> I'm just happy that our goal difference is better than Shoreham, or I'd be so stressed right now. But luckily, we do have a better goal difference, so that's something at least. Halftime, bad performance. I want to see something else. That was terrible. It was embarrassing. Oh, so sad. Come on, boys. Get up there. Miller with the ball. Ethan Miller takes it. He just goes to Morris. Morris uh, gets dispossessed. And Perkins now has the clear one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And Pierce. Oh, my gosh. Thank goodness. He tries to go trip it over Pierce. And it goes over the net. Like, I honestly cannot believe that we are losing. Like, we haven't... Oh, finally, shot on target happens. My goodness gracious. And Lambert now with the ball. McDonald, McDonald. And there we go. Shoreham is now tied on us, with us on points. Francis. Francis shoots it. And Robson easily saves that. What kind of shot was that? My, oh, my. This is ugly. Fire up, boys. Come on. Like, what the heck is happening here? Who should I take off? 
Ian Fisher. Yeah, you're not playing very well. Ollie Hunt. Go on. Lambert now. Hear that ball. Oh. Penalty. <sighs> I can't even right now. Oh, Pearson almost got there too. That was really close. That was really close. That would have been awesome if you actually saved that. Very close. Can I berate them? Yes, I will berate them. Thank you. Sam Salas is definitely coming off. He has played a very poor game. Ew, who am I going to put on, though? Reese Williams, I guess. And Richard Collier is going to come off for... Bum, 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 Destiny. Oledipo. Come on, boys. The only thing that's keeping us in this is the stinking goal difference. They have another chance. It was an easy save, but still. My, oh my. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mess around with the tactics a bit. Oledipo and Francis. You guys are going to switch. Reese Williams going to go here. And you're going to go here. And you're going to go up. And you're going to go up. Uh, you're going to attack. <laughs> so dumb. But I got nothing to lose except this match. And I don't want to lose this match. Perkins, again, has the, an opportunity. He goes back to Woods. To Marks. Nice pass by Marks to Woods. And Woods easily slots that into the bottom right corner. <sighs> not the best of matches. Not our best. Like, honestly, I think this is probably like, the biggest goal difference in a match that we've lost to in the entire season. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the entire save, to be honest. But it's definitely the entire season. Oh, Pierce collects that. Thank goodness. Uh, I've already made my changes, so boys, you have to just finish the get match now. I'm going to berate you one more time. Francis, going at the ball. Where is he going to go? What the heck was that? But Jack Daldy somehow puts it in, so at least there's no clean sheet for them. And Jack Daldy gets his 51st goal of the season. I don't know what Dan Francis was trying there. It was pathetic, but at least we got a goal from it. <laughs> O'Sullivan to Fisher to McDonald to O'Sullivan, and Hunt collects that who then boots it downfield, and Oledipo has the ball. He's coming out the right side. What's he going to do? And he shoots, and it goes wide of the far post. I don't know what that was, what kind of attempt or what have you. Hopefully this is the last highlight. I have had enough of this match. It's been super embarrassing, and I am discouraged, to say the least. Ian Miller, or not Ian Miller, Ethan Miller, Taverner, Taverner, Barely gets any kind of power on that header. Easily saved from Robson, who boots it downfield for the last highlight. Pierce now is going to pick it up. Just take your time, Pierce. Let's just end this match. There we go. And we are champions. Super anticlimactic after losing the way that we just did. We're away. We got our butts kicked. But regardless, we are the champions. We are moving on to greener pastures, whatever those are. We'll see pretty soon here, I guess, where we're going. Or maybe we won't. I don't know. I've never done this before. I've never been promoted from League 9 to League 8. Because you know what's after League 8, right? Vanarama, South, and North. Pretty awesome. We're moving up. We're getting there. We're doing this thing. I am very happy about that. 
So let us just cut away to where the announcement or what the announcement is. So I'm not too sure what uh, league we've been promoted to, and I just want to correct the mistake I made previously. The Vanarama South and North is not after this next one because I am only going from level 9 to level 8. And Vanarama North and South, I'm pretty sure, is 6. So I still have 7 after 8. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Anyways, the season is done. I don't know where I'm going. I'm sure I'll find that out in the season review because I'm sure there's other leagues that need to finish in order to figure that out. So thank you so much for watching this video. In the next video, we'll, like I said, go over the season and start the next one. If you uh, enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.